In a bustling city, two worlds collided. For Han, a poor but kind-hearted street vendor, sold flowers to push his life forward. His life was a daily struggle. Aisha, a stunning beauty, lived in a mansion overlooking the city. Her life was one of luxury and comfort. One fateful evening, their paths crossed. Farhan's flower cart broke down outside Aisha's mansion. As he struggled to fix it, Aisha stepped out of her gates. Their eyes met and time stood still. Aisha, drawn to Farhan's genuine smile, approached him. Need help? She asked. Farhan's heart a beat. Just a broken wheel, he replied, his voice trembling. Aisha's chauffeur fixed the cart, and Farhan thanked her. As they parted ways, Aisha felt an inexplicable connection. She always met masked people with fake smiles in the business parties of daddy, which she disliked from her younger days. Days turned into weeks, and Aisha found herself visiting Farhan's cart, buying flowers, buying flowers, and listening to his stories and listening to his stories. Farhan's heart started to play an unknown symphony. No one had ever shown him such kindness, but their social differences weighed heavily. Aisha's parents disapproved, insisting she should marry a wealthy businessman. Farhan's friend warned him, She is out of your league. Yet their love grew. One rainy evening, Farhan took Aisha to a hidden rooftop garden. As raindrops fell around them, Farhan confessed, I never thought I'd find Someone like you. Aisha's eyes sparkled. You are the only one who sees me, not my wealth. But reality soon intruded. Aisha's parents arranged her engagement to the wealthy businessman. Her hands heart shattered. In desperation, Farhan sought out Aisha's soon-to-be fiancé, pleading with him to understand. But he was amazed that businessman was his long-lost childhood friend. His parents moved into a different city and they lost connection. His parents moved into a different city and they lost connection. The businessman was shocked to find out the truth. Aisha's parents did bigger arrangements for engagement ceremony. They invited every noun person, but they received call from the businessman at the time when the ring ceremony was supposed to be. He threatened them that he would take back all his investments from their projects if they denied to engage their girl with the flower sailor for harm. Her parents were helpless to hear this. They were worried that people would make fun of them if they cancelled the ceremony after everyone was present in the big lush hall. After everyone was present 
in the big lush hall. As the call ended, Rahan appeared in front of their eyes, wearing an expansive black tuxedo. Unwillingly, they welcomed him. There was a big smile on her face when Aisha looked at her soon-to-be fiancé. The businessman friend offered Farhan a well-paid position in his company along with bigger incentives, a separate decorated house and a car with driver. Farhan's heart flooded with happiness to get the girl of his dreams. How did you turn the events? Aisha asked, smiling. My love was ready to do or die for you. The luck gave me a chance. He smiled, looking at her bright, innocent eyes. You are the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Stay happy and healthy and thank you.